<laughs> Leslie, at this convention, is there a Republican Party? Well, you know, Tom, you ask, as always, exactly the right question. It's not only is there a Republican Party now and who is it, but it's also going to be where does this Republican Party go after November? Uh, depending on that outcome. But what we're going to see, this Republican Party doesn't look very much like it used to. It's going to have all four of President Trump's children uh, very much part of <clears throat> the show. It will have Nikki Haley, who's obviously been in the administration and is now part of the party. But many of you know, the, who we think of as being the long... Uh, <clears throat> long members of the Republican Party. They were at the Democratic National Convention, uh, several of them. Uh, we're going to see a lot of President Trump every single night. We will see President Trump for a full hour. He will accept that nomination at the White House um, with an audience outside uh, Thursday evening. Um, very unusual. Right. Well, you know, what's interesting here, Leslie, to me, I read Joshua Green, a, a wonderful reporter for Bloomberg Businessweek, and I, uh, the, the Bannon expert in the world, and Steve Bannon going back to the National Unionist Party of Abraham Lincoln, and then you move to the Bush uh, set of presidents, and then you move on to Mitt Romney and his efforts as well. Where do those people go if the president wins? Well, I think this has been, you know, a real question for so many longstanding Republicans is where do they go? And there's a real question about Congress, too. You know, what we are told is that there are probably 60 Republicans in Congress that don't like what the president's been doing the entire time, but they've been relatively quiet. Um, but uh, and we have, you know, the the Republicans that are very vocally against um, the president. Um, and where do they go if President Trump is, is reelected? I think that there's going to be, you know, very careful consideration about whether they really back um, the Democrats. You know, we're seeing the—what we saw last week at the Democratic National Convention was Vice President Biden trying to really be the party of unity um, across young, across old, across different demographic um, uh, sections of Americans' population but also across Republican and Democrat. And, you know, we're, as we head up to, to the beginning of this Republican National Convention today, we see a president who's on the back foot electorally. He's down in the polls. The economy is down. He is grabbing for straws, trying to say that he'll get a vaccine early, cutting corners on FDA regulations, heading for a fight probably on that, um, announcing that he'll use certain therapeutics. Uh, but he's really, you know, on the back foot. And it's very unusual for an incumbent president mm. to be approaching a convention uh, in, in this way.